Cheerio, bonjour, hello. Okay, so look at me. Right back in just another day or two with a part two. So again, Chris Caspian, thank you, thank you for giving me this idea. Harry's wife, do you saw the last video? No, I don't like her. Not at all. I have some things to say, but I want to clarify something in the very beginning in case in case you watched the last video. I made a comment that didn't really came out come out right. I said something about if you're going to put me in the royal family and call me a racist, that's a life I can live. I didn't mean it that way. I meant if that's the life you're going to get me where I don't have to really worry about electric. You know, I said that. I'd like to know a life where I don't know the electric bill. Honestly, that is my life. But you know what I'm saying. You know, I still have a car payment and stuff. Uh, the, the racism that they are accusing the royal family of, to me, is non-existent. It's not real. And that's what I meant. If that's the world you're going to give me and that's the racism that comes with it, I'll take it. So my point is, I don't believe there's any racism. Uh, I don't believe... We've heard lots of comments that the... Is the baby going to come... What color is the baby going to come out? And from what we understand, that really did happen. And Prince Charles said it. I don't believe she was pregnant. Sorry. The thumbnail on this video is the pregnancy bump. I just don't. Uh... I don't believe she was pregnant with Lilibet. And how effing tacky is that? Your grandmother... Okay, so it's your grandma's nickname. Okay, but your grandmother's the Queen of England. It's a little bit different. Name her Elizabeth. You don't name her Lilibet. But Harry's wife is desperate for attention. I find it hard to believe she wouldn't be... You know that chick, Chrissy Teigen? I only know who she is because she bullies people. There was a 16-year-old girl with really big boobs who married some 55-year-old actor. I think his name was like Doug Hutchinson. Well, Chrissy Teigen really, really bullied this girl. I mean, she was flat out nasty online. And then a lot of other people came out and said, hey, this chick is really, really nasty. She's a bully. Anyway, every time this chick gets pregnant, she's post posting half nudes of herself with that baby. Alec Baldwin's wife does the same thing. Alec Baldwin's wife has a miscarriage. And so she posts her, a picture of herself in her bra and panties with her fly little body saying, Feel sorry for me. I had a miscarriage. Good God. The point is, that's what Megan would have been doing. I, I'm, I'm sorry. She went on the Ellen show and supposedly walked down a, you know, an open air market. It was all staged. There were no other people there. Uh, you, I've brought these guys up before. The body language. What are they called? The behavior panel. Behavior panel. Well, they did the, they've done a couple of Prince Harry. They did the Prince Harry and Oprah thing. They did Prince Harry's wife and Ellen, different episode. If I remember, I'll link them below. It's all a scam. Uh, I believe that there was an award ceremony that happened this past weekend. And Will Smith smacked somebody. Would any of us have even known the Oscars happened had that assault not occurred. Wake up. Wake up. Will Smith's wife bangs her son's best friend and sits on TV and says, if Will would have loved me enough, he would have seen that I was having that need. Excuse me. Put Close your child's ears. Are you fucking serious? Good goodness. Okay. So I'm going to get to some comments from the last one before I start. A uh, little, little tea time. Thank you, thank you. Little, little tea time. Told me I'm hot. Thank you. Goodness, I'm 52. I haven't heard that. Well, I, I'm sorry. That's very sweet. Thank you. I really appreciate it saying. I have to admit, I was very fortunate. My father always told my brother, if 
A woman's body type is something you are worried about. Never marry a woman until you see what her mother looks like. I got to tell you, my brother's first wife, Lizzie, from the UK in Liverpool. She's a little spitting image of her mom. Her mom, Granny Pat, beautiful little lady, love her, Liverpool. (laughs) Hi, Granny Pat. I'm a spitting edge of my mother. My mother was, unfortunately, I think 83 pounds when she died. Okay, well, I weighed 98 this morning. So it's just, it's a lot of genetics. But thank you. Uh, Little, little tea time's mother is a narcissist. And, you know, girl, I'm sorry. But here's what you have to realize. You can't change your mom. But the fact that you have figured out she's a narcissist, means you win. You're going to win everything. Everything. Every time she says something to you, your little narcissist radar comes on. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Okay. So you are ahead of the game, girlfriend. Thank you. Uh, Leah from the UK. Thank you for watching. Cheerio. Oh, that's a goodbye in the UK. Uh, Leah, tell your mom hello. So I just brought up my sister-in-law, Lizzie. I was 18 or 19 when my brother married her. And so I started hearing mum. And so I have referred to my mother as mum for 30 some years now. And so mum is what we refer to. Uh, in our world, and I'm talking to the boy David, I'm like, your mum? Our mum. We love mums. Uh, Puff Peace thinks Camilla is awesome. I do too. Puff Peace would like to hang out and party with her a little bit. I agree. Wouldn't it be fun to... You know, have maybe two glasses of wine. I'm not a wine person. I maybe have a Knob Creek. You guys know I'm not a big drinker. Uh, I prefer my marijuana. But I'd like to sit and hit a fit, big, flat, fat blunt with Camilla. Maybe I can get Camilla hit on that as well. Excuse me. <coughs> Maria. Maria. Thank you. So, Maria keeps an eye on our comments. Because every once in a while, we do get people that are nasty. Our channel is all about freedom of speech. But if you think my mouth looks like I have meth mouth, I don't know. Find a different way to say it. You know? Uh, It's all good. So you see how I was just talking and now I'm doing this? I'm sitting here and my, my Mac is flashing. It's like... Battery, 1%. You're going to die. You're going to die. I'm trying to learn iFunny or iMovie. iFunny, I love. If you want to see memes, if you're a meme person, oh my goodness, I'm a meme person. There's Oscar. Hi, honey. Oscar. Hey, sweet bunny. Say hi. We love you. Uh, iFunny is the place to be. I'm trying to learn iMovie. And for someone like me who's in, in school and you need to learn something... Remember, technology doesn't come as naturally to those of us born in the 70s. And if you can teach me iFunny and we can Zoom or something, comment below. I need some help. Or iMovie. I'm sorry. If you can teach me iMovie. I know iFunny. I got on iFunny when my daughter <clears throat> uh, was about 12 years old because she, she got a phone when she was 12. But that was the agreement. And she was always on iFunny. And so I wanted to see what she was looking at. And so I got on it. And I will tell you that I have been featured. My featured meme had, I think, 65,000 likes and 7,000 republishes. It was pretty cool. My kid was pretty impressed. Got to admit that. Okay. I don't remember if I finished the sentence about the meth mouth. That's when everything was flashing. But Maria... Thank you. I appreciate your time. You know, having a channel takes time. Being a moderator on a channel, it takes time. She Every day, she's got to go on and look on it. Look at the comments and stuff. Maria, God bless you. Thank you for your time. And I do pray for you. I'm a big believer in prayer. If you guys don't pray, try it out. You might realize that over some time, it works. It makes you feel better too. But, okay, so let's see. Oh, I already told that. That I didn't mean the racist. If you're going to put me in the royal family and be a racist, I meant. I Again, I didn't mean it that way. I meant their definition of racist. I, I have to be very careful and not get political. 
Conservative people don't care what color you are. We don't care what your sexual preferences are. As long as you're not hurting children or animals, we don't care about any of that. We care about your character, the way you act. That's what matters. So, um, again, I've already said this. I do. I, do you guys think she really got pregnant? Give me your comments below. I just don't. I, I'm uncomfortable with it. She's old also. And yes, 38-year-old women get pregnant. But I'm just... Harry's wife is so jealous of Kate. Kate's beautiful. She obviously has a charming personality. If you look at pictures of William and Kate, the love and respect for each other is so clear. And just that one little snap, snap, snap shot. Harry's wife is desperately jealous. Desperately. I think that she thought she would marry into the royal family and be important. And having no idea that when your husband is the sixth in line to the throne, he just isn't as important. You know, I'm going to link a video below from a little woman who covers the royal family I really like. Check out Yankee Wally. I may put one of her, link one of hers. Uh, I really like her. But there is a video where it's Charles Camilla and the Queen. Love the Queen. Prince William and Kate and then Harry and his wife. And they're all walking in to the next room. They're, they're looking at something. It's got to get their approval. And Prince Charles turns around and says something to Harry. And he continues to walk. Meghan, and she kind of nudges him. And so they start walking. And Prince Charles turns around and says to them, and you can hear it, he says, again, this is for senior royals only. Which meant he had already said to them, stay the heck back out of our space. But Megan was not going. I did it again. Harry's wife was not going to have that. She had no idea how insignificant this her poor little husband was. Her husband, who had to find a third woman, third proposal. Remember, he was with Chelsea for seven years. He was with another chick for four years. He found uh, the girl who doesn't have a relationship with her father. How creepy is that? Okay, here's the story. The, it's the wedding. The dad is in England. Dad doesn't have a lot of money left. Some paparazzi comes and says, hey, look, let's stage some photos, and we're going to pay you $100,000. And he says, okay, you know, I'm retired. I'm living in Mexico. Well, he took it up. Took him up on the offer. Well, why? Well, I'm going to guess because his daughter, who is worth $4 million, isn't helping him out at all. He needed a little help. Okay, so he got busted. It looked, yeah, it was wrong. He probably should not have done that. But he did it. He got busted. And then he actually had a heart attack. So he was so emotionally affected, he had a heart attack. And what do they do? Harry and his wife? They cut him off. There's something wrong. When you see actors who don't have a relationship with their parents, Jennifer Aniston apparently doesn't speak to her mother. Her dad was on General Hospital. You know, I was 15, running over from school to watch General Hospital, and I was watching her dad. I have never seen 12 seconds of the television show Friends. Zero interest. Stupid. If you like it, I am happy. I'm glad it makes you happy. Don't force me to watch it. Um, but... There's something wrong with people who separate from their families. I've brought it up. Shannon Watts alienated Chris from his family. It's the best way to control him. Harry's wife has done the exact same thing. And the behavior panel has been covering these two for four years now. I think deep down Harry's starting to regret it. I really do. There's signs in his face that I don't really think he likes some of the things he's saying. Here's something else Harry's wife does. She wears outfits that that mimic the mom or are similar to the mom because mock isn't mimic. Uh, her the dress she's wearing in the Oprah Winter 
interview is black with flowers, the outline of the flowers embroidered in it. There's an interview where Diana's doing the exact same thing. There's an, uh, an occasion where Harry's wife is wearing the green suit with the green little hat. I love the hats. I wish we did hats in the U.S. I wear a golf hat all the time. In the winter, I wear knit caps. And I mean, I love knit caps. My knit cap must match my outfit. I have, I'm a little embarrassed to say this, I probably have over 30 knit caps. I like knit caps. Um, she mimics the outfits. She wore the same perfume Diana wore on their first date. If you don't think that's crazy and sociopathic, then you might have something a little wrong with you. Can you even imagine? So you've got a first date with a guy and you have the ability to find out what perfume his mother wore. And you go and get that. That's creepy as fuck. That's creepy. Oh my goodness. We have my man's... Okay, I'm a minimalist. I don't really like a lot of things on my counters. Well, so we had the, you know, the flour, sugar, coffee tins, the little metal tins. We had those four. And I move in and I'm rearranging things. Selden says you can do anything you want. And I said, okay, I don't really like these tins. And he says, that's fine. They were my mother's, so don't throw them away. And I went, whoa, they were your mother's? Fuck, they're going on the counter. I use them all the time now. You know, I, I have, I keep my baking soda in one. I keep my raw sugar in one. I use them because they are his mother's. And I love that. Uh, we have a beautiful vanity his father made. And in where I am right now, the vanity doesn't go to where I can use it as a vanity. But I have it in the hallway upstairs. I have a picture of my parents on it and some things. It's gorgeous. But I love it more because his father made it and his father made it for his mother, which gives it more value. But that's why I love those silly little tin containers because those belong, the man I love, those belong to his mother. And because I love him, I love her. Maybe it's because I'm a boomer, but when you love someone, you don't, do some of the stuff that Shannon Watts and Harry's wife is doing. They really, really do remind me of each other. So um, I'm going to shut it down with this last comment. It's going to be a little extensive. The video I'm linking below, Harry's wife brings this up. She tells him that when she was six months pregnant, she was very seriously committing suicide. But the only reason she didn't was because she didn't want him to lose another important woman in his life. Can you spell manipulation? You can say it. Can um, you say, how stupid is Harry? This is vulgar, but man, that pussy must be good. Can you even imagine? Look, I... I, I don't know how to respond to that. Do you hear Siri? He doesn't know how to respond to that. You know what? Prince Harry didn't know how to respond to that. And unfortunately, he married her. Uh, people who play other people's emotions like that are wrong. I'm sorry that people get to a point where they commit suicide. I personally do not believe that they go to hell. I've studied in the Bible, and I don't believe that. I don't believe the Lord would punish a person for being so emotionally sad that they take their life and because at that moment, they are deemed eternally in hell. So I don't believe that one bit. But if you're using your suicidal thoughts to get to your man, that's just manipulation. You don't go on public television and talk about that. I'm sorry, it's creepy. Okay, well, let's hope I got this whole thing together and it's up on iFunny. If you're still watching right now, I am shocked. Thank you for watching. I'm sincere. Hit like, hit subscribe. God bless America.